accurate forecast in the Ozarks. All right, folks, looking at satellite, looking at water vapor right now, and you're seeing again some, uh, or infrared, and you're seeing again some uh, spin here. This is Hurricane Lee, currently a Category 1. This morning it was a Category 2, and now it's a Category 1. That's down from a Category 5 at its strongest point. So it is weekend. It has weekend. Like we've been talking about, it's going to happen, and it's, ha it's happening now. It's going to keep on going up to the north and eventually run into Maine and uh, Nova Scotia area in southeast Canada. And it's going to be really weak Category 1 to maybe a tropical storm by the time it gets up there. That'll be for Saturday. It looks like Saturday morning. There it is. Finally gets kind of official landfall, if you will, up on the main coastline and off towards Nova Scotia right over here in parts of Canada. So that's coming down the way. It looks like Saturday morning is thing stand right now. And it's not going to be like Hurricane Sandy. Of course, the big hurricane that hit up there. Nothing like that. Not nearly as intense, but there will be some wind, some waves and some, of course, heavy rainfall when that thing moves up that direction. Satellite and radar right now back here locally. Clear skies in the Springfield area. Clouds draped across northern uh, Arkansas, southern Missouri. From the high Beak tower camera kind of looking off toward the far south, you can make out some cloud lines out here. But generally, it's a sunny sky here in Springfield. Feels pretty good outside, too, in the 70s. We're about 75 right now here in town. 73 Lake Ozark, 73 in Ava. Upper 60s still hanging on in places like Harrison, Arkansas, 69. 72 Mountain Home, 71 in Monette. Again, cloud cover. It's not full cloudy, but there are a few cloud, more clouds down that direction having impact on those temperatures just slightly. This evening looks fantastic, pleasant weather by 6 p.m. right around dinner time. Have at it. Cook outside, eat outside, sit outside this evening. 68, maybe a light jacket weather and fire pit weather possibly if you have one. If you don't have one, call someone up who does. Tell them you're coming over tonight. Looking at future cast for the rest of today. Again, clouds heaviest down to the south, really northern Arkansas seeing the most of the cloud cover today. And again, not a full cloudy day, but more clouds than not uh, compared to up here to the north. Then going into this evening and overnight, clear up the skies. Tomorrow will be a nice day too. Humidity, it's barely even showing up on the charts. It's going to be low humidity even into next week. So staying in that comfy zone for the next seven to maybe even 10 days ahead. There is some activity coming our way. We have a cold front on the way for this weekend. Looks like Saturday. They'll give us a chance for some isolated rain showers across the western part of the Ozarks. Nothing too uh, robust, certainly not widespread and definitely not heavy, so nothing good news there. The other good news, though, is that weekend events likely dry. Don't worry about it. Should be good to go there. Our next storm system, though, looks like it's going to swing out of the northwest for next Thursday, next Friday. This could be our next best chance of rain. It could be a pretty decent chance of rain about eight or nine days from now. So we'll have to keep an eye on that to see how it turns out. But let's hope we get something out of that one. For now, though, we're going to be dry and temperatures in again, the upper 70s taking us into the weekend. <laughs> and it's going to be a nice one out there for sure. Saturday, Sunday, again, lots of events going on. Should be just fine. Good to go. Perfect. Some great weather for, I know we got some stargazers out there. They're going to be really